Hey guys, how you doing? Aaron Tafoya here, and I am featuring the TLC Lap Cajon. And you may have seen these on Facebook recently. And uh, a lot of people have been asking, how do they sound? Uh, how do you play them? Stuff like that. So I'm just going to do kind of an introduction here and kind of do a brief overview of uh, different hand techniques and different features on this drum. And uh, to start with, this was a, uh, a concept that actually I came across by accident. Um, I've been building cajones now for five years and uh, I, I haven't slowed down and uh, there's many different options to create sound and I went with a triangle design here that has uh, proven to be effective, uh, a good bass tone, a good high tone, good slap tone and um, I'm using woods that uh, seem to vibrate very, very good for this style drum. And it is a true Peruvian sound. And we do have upgrades now with a snare option where we can turn the snare on and off, uh, which is really nice to have because you can get that nice snappy sound. And I'll be showing that in a different video. Um, as of right now, this is a drum that weighs 3.1 pounds. It does come with a strap, which is making your uh, recreational plane a lot more comfortable and ergonomic. Um, this also uh, is equipped to um, work with people that are in wheelchairs um, or have limited mobility um, because it's lightweight and it does it is meant for your lab. Um, it has a lot of uh, productivity in that arena for people that uh, may have a need for it. So um, aside from that, uh, you know I'm working with birch stones here or birch wood and kind of a nice semi-exotic look here um, for, for birch, it's a, it's a birch veneer here and um, I also have the logo there in power percussion, play in power as always and how does it sound? Here we go, I'm just going to play a few different techniques uh, for the teachers you can story tell with these drums uh, we have our drums in different communities right now where uh, they're in different schools. We also have them played in different uh, community centers, churches. We're applying the, um, the techniques that you would play in conga or on the cajon or djembe. Uh, we're getting two distinct sounds here with this drum. We're getting the bass tone, which you can play on the rim from here up, or flat-handed. And then you got your slap tones. You can do it with your, your palm down, you can do it on conga, or do an open slap tone without your, your palm here. The difference is, uh, it's more staccato when you're playing this way, a little more free when you do it this way. So um, another technique which I've been uh, playing with quite a bit lately is the thumb technique. And it, it, it acts as a filler, so if I'm applying a, a rhythm or a sound that I would get on drum set, I can use it as a kind of a not necessarily a ghost note, but uh, uh, an actual uh, rhythm that would simulate what it would be played on the hi-hat. So uh, an example would be... And um, that's just something that I've been uh, developing on my own, but um, aside from that, uh, here's a very basic um, technique that you can do on the TLC lap cajon that uh, is good to practice and as you develop these techniques you have uh, more ability to kind of communicate through your drum and say things you want to say and uh, uh, sorry I gotta I gotta show you her she uh, she gets excited when I play the drums so So we'll get back to this. Sorry for that little distraction there. Um,
Play Empowered, go to empowerpercussion.com and check out the TLC Lap Cajon. If you have any other questions, please contact me uh, and we'll go from there. All right. Have a good day.